welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgina Evans, and as you can probably tell by this fun, gimmicky, lovely invitation, I'm going to be talking about Moschino Spring Summer 20. Um, so here we have artist palette, artist paintbrush. Um, last season Moschino was a brilliant, the price is right, completely mad, fantastic affair, um, which I was completely smitten with. This season was a celebration of the artist Picasso. Um, but obviously done in the fantastic Jeremy Scott's vein. Um, there's something about a Moschino show that is just so fantastically infectious and it sells. So um, I know there's a lot of Moschino haters out there, but um, it's doing rather well. So you can't argue with that. Um, anyway, anywho, let's get to the point. So Moschino, Picasso, models are walking through these huge gilded frames and Rosalia is playing. There's an ode to um, Spain, obviously because Picasso was Spanish. Um, and the most fantastic looks are coming out down the runway. I'm gonna put this down because I'm gonna keep waving it. Um, dresses are kind of printed and patterned in really, really abstract Picasso works. Um, arms are literally paint palettes, so there's huge overblown leg of mutton sleeves, ginormous. Some of them are actually um, almost coming away from the body to out to here, angular, and then back down again. But these women look like they've been pulled from the pieces, kind of rearranged a little bit. Um, the colour palette was really fantastic. It actually really reminded me of, and this is a very obscure reference, so I'm terribly sorry. Um, if anyone's seen Beetlejuice, the crazy mum, the scene where they're all dancing around the furniture, these costumes would look amazing in that scene. It was just those pops of colour and this really beautiful abstract um, artwork. I just think it was really infectious. Um, so these wonderful statement shoulders, lots of mini dresses and sweetheart necklines. One of the most fantastic looks was on Kaya Gerber, which again had, I'm gonna put this down as well because I'm waving that frantically, um, huge puffed shoulders um, and a tiny puffball skirt in green and white. But what Jeremy had done is cut around the boobs um, so that it was exposed, but basically barely being held in. But that whole Picasso shape was going around. It was just so, so fun and fantastic. Later on, there's nods to even more Picasso artworks. Um, the old guitarist, I had to think for a second what that one was called, um, comes in in literal dresses with a giant guitar on the front, um, which is so whimsical and brilliant. But also, it's a cocktail dress from the back, a black velvet a mini dress with a kind of turquoise and pink ruffle around the hem. Um, also, literal guitar handbags, um, and the kind of colour palette and brown washed outness, if you can recognise the painting from, um, I've got it written down because I'm never going to remember, Guernica um, in large puffball dresses. Um, it was just so infectious and that with this real Spanish flamenco element as well, maybe it was the Rosalia playing that got me feeling this way, but um, there was a real beautiful flamenco dress with um, red and again the puff shoulders. There was a real mood of shoulders um, throughout this entire collection. Huge puffballs, leg of mutton, angular shoulders that came out to here and all this fantastic bodies either in a mini dress or long line. Um, the bags as well, wouldn't be a Moschino show without some fantastic bags. Um, here they were slightly plain. Um, there was one or two artist palettes and as I said, a guitar. Um, but the, what I really loved is that Moschino was written as a Picasso signature, which I think is so brilliant. Because also um, often what happens with a Moschino gimmick a bit of a novelty item is that um, not everyone can kind of tap into that. It doesn't become a it doesn't become a doesn't become a commercial staple. But these really can go straight from runway to store. Um, it was just a real fun. Um, they always are fun. The last collection was so fun, but this was just um, really intoxicating because you're trying to find the Picasso in the dress, and sometimes it's too abstract to take a look. All the hair is stuck down with the paint smear on it, almost look lacquered. Um, and it's just this drama that you get with a Jeremy Scott Moschino show. Um, it really is this like aura of fun and frivolity. And to have these novelty um, items that honor this great artist, I just think is such a fun idea to do. Um, but also it's, it's not, it's always worth noting that while this is all, fun and frantic and um, a huge scene and great, it's fantastic music and great accessories. There is wonderful clothing and detailing here. So it's not just surface level frivolity, there is really, really great detailing. There was a 
blazer and skirt suit set that was beaded Picasso um, lines on it. It was really, really something in pop colours of reds and greens and blues. The detailing on that is really fantastic. And then that translated in a mini bag version. Fantastic. Um, and likewise, the attention to detail. When you are doing something so comical, that you know that the eye is gonna be on this look every which way it turns. And just the finish on the backs of these, for the front it might be a gimmicky guitar, but from the back, there's just this beautiful detailing and I'm sure later on those will be removed and there'll be a wonderful cocktail dress underneath it. Um, I would be remiss if Mosquito was not on the schedule. I think it's such a brilliant jolt of energy um, in what can sometimes be a little bit stale at times. I mean, not this season, it's been a really great season. I feel like all my reviews have been great, woo! Um, but Moschino is definitely one for the schedule and I'm so pleased it's there because this is just such a nice high energy, um, high energy collection that's also just about celebrating clothes, celebra celebrating something you love to the point of extremity. Um, so yeah, thoroughly impressed. I love some of the dresses, that beaded jacket I would quite like for myself. Um, but it's also nice that Moschino kind of cleans the slate every season. So every season you don't know what you're gonna get and that adds to the entire excitement and creates this huge buzz and hum around what will it be, how will it um, how will it look, what will I want to buy and people are still searching for um, the Barbie collectibles or the squeaky clean collectibles so he carves out these amazing kind of memory moments um, every collection so I'm thoroughly thoroughly impressed. Some of those flamenco dresses I definitely like to try on and take for a spin. Um, let me know in the comments below if you agree. Are you a Moschino fan? Are you not a Moschino fan? I know it's quite a dividing brand. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you're watching through YouTube and make sure to visit Show Studio so you can get a closer look at all the clothes I've just detailed um, and have a look at this review alongside too. Um, I'll see you guys very soon.